So I found something interesting. Um, it's, it's particular to the Tiny SA, and it's particular to the Tiny SA's band, uh, bandpass filters. Um, they are digital bandpass filters, and I believe they're digital, and they're inside the, uh, the uh, SI chip, so I, I don't really know how they're constructed. I do know that their shape, though, is, is strange compared to regular LC circuits or crystal filters and things like that. Most filters have a, uh, I, don't, I don't think Gaussian is the right word, maybe bustle function. It's a, uh, uh, you know, belt, bell shape type curve type of thing. Um, and you can see it here, the, these uh, shapes of these um, peaks are not the shape of the uh, carriers, they're the shape of the filter. The filter has a certain uh, bandwidth. And the way the, the bandwidths are measured is at the 3 dB point. So you measure uh, the half power point on the, um, on the filter and you look at the width and that's what you publish. So um, the finer the bandwidth, the more resolution you have. So in these two pictures, we have basically the same picture. We have um, a particular uh, resolution and here we have a particular resolution. Now, if you take a look at the tiny SA filters, uh, they have flat tops. So the filter's a bit odd. It's, it's not a normal filter. It's, like I said, I think it's a digital filter. And so it has a flat top, but it also has a width. So if you measure the 3 dB width of those, then that's, that's what you publish. So uh, in order to get the same picture, I actually have to set them differently. So the tiny SA is at its uh, narrowest uh, resolution. It's at 3.1 kilohertz. And so that's as fine as it can see. And let me change the uh, HP so it's 3 kilohertz. And that's what the HP looks like when it's 3 kilohertz. So you would think this would be apples and apples. So the filters are strange. The 3 dB point of these two filters is the same. But at the base of the filter, uh, a typical filter is much, much wider than these digital filters. And so you see some overlapping here at the bottom end. At the top end, uh, you could argue they're either the same. Um, yeah, you, you could argue that they're the same at the top end. But at the bottom end, they're actually, this one seems to be much, much better at the bottom end. Um, and in order to get these pictures to look the same, I have to lower the resolution bandwidth of the, um, of the HP down to one kilohertz. So really, um, these filters are three times better than these filters in some ways. Um, in other ways, they aren't. Uh, so we can start uh, moving these peaks together. And let me show you that. Uh, so I'm going to move these peaks closer and closer and closer. And so here's a good picture. And you can see that they're kind of the same, right? This one has flat tops uh, and this one has peaks, but they're basically the same picture if, you're, if you understand the, uh, the filter shape. And so let's go a little, a little closer. And there they kind of both disappear. So they're acting basically the same at this particular resolution. So would you call these uh, three kilohertz filters or would you call them one kilohertz filters? Um, they certainly aren't going to uh, resolve real fine structure. Whereas like in this picture, you could argue that we're resolving much more in this picture than we are in this picture. And if I zoomed in, of course, this one would win. But um, you can see that we're actually resolving a little bit better in these notches than we are here. And that's because the tops of these filters is, is better at fine detail. And the tops of these filters are not good at fine detail. Um, so I really think that the specification of the Tiny SA doesn't give credit to uh, what it can do. 
Um, in a lot of instances, these filters are three times better than the specification. Um, sometimes they are the specification. So in this particular case, I would say, yeah, the specification is correct. Uh, this is a three kilohertz filter. This is a one kilohertz filter, right? But in the other um, instances where you're looking at things uh, several dB down, you know, 20, 30 dB down, then uh, these straight wall filters seem to be doing better. Um, so, yeah, it's just different. Uh, TinySA actually does better in a lot of instances than the specification would allow you to believe.